All right, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing much bigger checks for Social Security based on a new report that was just announced. That's the focus of the video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. All right, now first off, everything that I'm talking about here in this video does pertain to all beneficiaries who receive benefits administered by Social Security, including, but not limited to, Social Security Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, Spousal, SSI, and even VA beneficiaries. I want to break down the details of this new report and give you some real dollars and real cents that would arrive into your bank account or in your pocket as a result of this announcement and it is pointing toward much higher checks for beneficiaries and depends how you look at it. I'm not sure how you do, but I think that's great for the beneficiaries. We are on a trajectory right now that points toward a lot more money for you going forward, but I want to break down all the details. I want to give you those numbers and explain exactly what is going on and what we can foresee over the coming months. So there's a lot of stuff going on here let's get into the report. However, really fast before we do, can I ask a huge, huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, will you make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button right down below the video? Thank you so much. I truly do appreciate it. I'm here for you every single day. I'm watching the headlines, doing the research, advocating on your behalf, and doing anything I possibly can to help you right now. The finances of virtually everybody is really bad, especially the low income and fixed income. The last few years have been really, really tough. We all understand this. So again, thank you so much for being here. Really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Please, subscribe down below and also feel free to share the video with your friends on your social media with the share button right down below as well. All right, thank you so much for watching. Let's talk through the details. All right, so yesterday we got the all important CPI, otherwise known as inflation report. Now, I know you might think, okay, I don't really care about this. That's fine, but here's the thing. This information translates directly into your monthly benefit. I can tell you this much. We are seeing these numbers ticking significantly higher and we're also pointing toward a significantly higher raise in your monthly benefit as a result of this information, okay? Now, uh, as, we, uh, as we sit here right now in mid-April, okay, I'm filming this video in mid-April. The inflation report that we got yesterday is from the month of March. This is inflation from the month of March. So we are still only a handful of months into the year right now as far as the inflation reports that we're getting. But remember, the three months that are most important for you and your monthly benefit are July, August, and September, okay? Now, I'm going to bring this all full circle here in just a minute, but remember this much as well. This inflation is ticking significantly higher. At the beginning of the year, we had projections coming out saying that we were going to get about a 1.7% raise back in January. That was just a couple months ago. Now get this, as of right now, the latest reports are now coming out showing that we're going to be looking at about a 3% raise right now. And again, I know 3% is uh, as of right now based on this information. However, I've been saying this for the last uh, couple months now, okay? Based on the trajectory and based on how things are looking right now, we're looking at, and this report that we got yesterday is just confirming what we're seeing here, okay? Again, no promises. I have no clue what's going to happen in the next three, four months, okay? I don't know. But based on the trajectory, based on the trend of inflation right now, uh, <laughs> we're likely going to be sitting in the in the high 4% range, probably right around that 5% range as we bump up against those July, August, and September months, okay? So with that being said, let me break down the details really quickly here and tell you in the event that we were to get a, call it 3% raise right now, which by the way, in my honest opinion, I think that's pretty conservative based on the numbers that we're seeing right now. This inflation is certainly not slowing down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, this inflation is not slowing down. It is certainly moving higher. And uh, we have a lot of months to go here, right? We still have inflation for uh, uh, sorry, April, May, June, and then we have July. Okay, so we have three months between now or more like inflation reports between now and when we... <clears throat> get into those three very important months, okay? Very important in my opinion. Anyway, let me run through some really quick numbers here to show you what exactly a 3% raise would look like. And again, we got 3.2% this year, okay? So we kind of have an idea what it looks like, but I anticipate we're gonna be sitting higher than that uh, based on the trajectory of inflation right now, okay? Anyway, let me run through the numbers really fast here, okay? So let's just talk about a $600 monthly benefit. If you're receiving $600 right now and applying, a potential 3% raise to that would be $18 a month more, okay? Not great, but not bad either, right? A $700 monthly benefit, applying a potential 3% raise to that would be an extra $21 a month. Again, not great, but not bad either. Uh, $800 monthly benefit. If you're receiving $800 right now, applying a potential 3% raise to that would be an extra 200 or sorry, $24 uh, per month to your monthly benefit. A $900 monthly raise, or sorry, 
a $900 monthly benefit would indicate an extra $27 per month if the COLA came in as a 3% raise. Now, a $1,000 monthly benefit. If you're receiving $1,000, applying a potential 3% raise to that would give you an extra $30 per month. $1,100 would give you an extra $33 per month if we got a 3% raise, okay? So you can see these numbers here, not great, but at the end of the day, it's certainly better than 1.7%, like what they were projecting at the beginning of the very year. So that was just three months ago, we were getting projections at 1.7%. We've nearly doubled that in three months, okay? Now, obviously I know uh, 1.7 multiply or doubled is 3.4. I get that, right? But we're sitting at 3% as far as the projections right now. So we've nearly doubled the projections in three little months. What do you think is going to happen in the next three months if inflation continues at this same trajectory? Do you think a 4.9 or 5% would be out of line? I do not. I'm just saying, okay? I'm not sure what is going to happen here over the coming months, uh, what's going to happen with inflation. But <laughs> based on what we're seeing here, wrong way, guys. Uh, we're going the wrong way, okay? Remember, the, uh, the Federal Reserve wants to bring inflation down. Um, <laughs> they brought it down. It pegged and bounced around this 3% range for about, what, six, seven months or so. It's been bouncing around this range, maybe a little bit longer than that. And now we're moving higher again. Okay. So interesting how this whole thing is playing out. I'm curious to see how everybody's going to scramble about this whole thing going forward, as in, you know, lawmakers and all these people like this that are in, uh, in, in control, what they're going to do to scramble around this, because this is not a good situation, right? We're moving higher again. Remember, Inflation topped out at 9.1% back in June of 2022. I don't know if we're going to get back up to 9.1%. I don't necessarily think so, but I would not be shocked at all to see a 5% handle again on inflation within the next, you know, five, six, seven months. I would not be shocked one bit to see that based on the current trajectory and the current trend of inflation. Remember, I've said this before in other videos and I want to say it again really quickly. Inflation is overall not good. It's kind of bad. We do not want high inflation. However, if we're going to get inflation, we might as well have it top out in the three months that are most important, July, August, and September, okay? The worst case scenario would be high inflation uh, that tops out in say December or January. That'd be the worst. Why? Because we wouldn't be able to capture that. If we're going to see very high inflation and inflation moving higher, let's at least get that sucker to top out somewhere between July, August, and September so that Social Security beneficiaries can capture as much of that increase as we possibly can in the coal arrays for the following year. Does that make sense, right? So again, why I want to make a big point about this, because this is actually a big deal for beneficiaries. And when we see this happening right now, remember, you know, this is just driving up prices, which is no shock. We already know that prices are going up. We know that prices are still very elevated right now. This is not a surprise to anybody, but at least we're getting the information and it's going to translate into more benefits for you and your, you know, your permanent monthly benefit forever with the result of the COLA for next year, 2025, right? Again, I know 2025 is a long time from now, but I've been saying for a while now, we need to continue watching this inflation because it's not just going to jump up five percentage points over one month. It's just not how it happens, right? It can jump up, you know, a few tenths of a percent, half a percent, seven tenths of a percent, three tenths of a percent, whatever it happens to be month over month. But as we extrapolate out into the future, you know, out in the, into those three months that we're talking about here that are very important. Now we're looking at pretty high inflation relative to where it should be. Okay. And remember, higher inflation means more money in your pocket permanently with raising of your benefit through the COLA starting next year make sense? Anyway, I like to give you this information. Very important report. I had this, uh, I had a video just a few days ago. Actually, it was a live stream a couple days ago. It was titled something like Wednesday and I was talking about this report and how in influential and important it really is. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'm going to continue watching this, but this is certainly very important. This was not a good report uh, when it comes down to inflation overall. But when it comes down to raises of your benefit, this is probably a good thing because as we see this moving higher, it just means more money, okay? When you see inflation go up, just picture dollar signs. Dollar signs in your bank account, okay? <laughs> it's literally what it comes down to. I know it's not much, but at the end of the day, at least it is something better than nothing. Something is better than nothing, right? Anyway, 
Let's leave it at that for now. Otherwise, um, make sure to stay tuned. But by the way, if you're an SSI beneficiary, stay tuned. I'm going to have a dedicated video for you tomorrow talking about your benefit as well. So SSI, watch for tomorrow. I'm going to have a dedicated video talking all about this. And um, you'll see the details about your monthly benefit as well. So other than that, please subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. Share the video with your friends, send me social media. Go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including those shown down, uh, down below in the video library or in the top of the comment section or the uh, description of this video. I've hand selected some videos there for you. Otherwise, pop it up on your screen right now. You'll see some videos as well. Make sure to select one of those videos and watch that right now. Otherwise, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And I'll catch you again later in the next one that you're choosing right now from your screen. All right. See you again.